Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John. Uh, first of all, happy Memorial Day, even though this is actually going to post after Memorial Day, but it is Memorial Day right now. So, happy Memorial Day. And for those of you who served or are serving the armed forces, thank you for your service. All right. Okay, so if you notice, it says this is an all Kindle edition of my of the June TBR June two, 20, 2022 uh, TBR yeah so yeah every one of the books that I've got listed for today is uh, our books that I've got on my Kindle and nowhere else I don't have them in hardback or paperback or anything like that uh, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to dwindle down my Kindle because I've got a ton of books on my Kindle that I need to read or either do something with. I don't know what. Uh, if any of you guys have a Kindle or do you have an ebook reader or whatever, do you ever go looking through your library and you look at a book and you go, when did I get that? Why did I buy that? What What's going on with this? You know, I've been looking through my Kindle. I'm sitting there going, I don't remember buying this book. You know, I don't remember this book or that book or whatever. Where, where did I get these books? I have no idea. Anyway, I got five books here. So, the first one we're going to talk about is Allison. This is by Jeff Strand. Allison, Allison can break your bones with her mind and she can't control her power. Now 45 years old, she spent her life trying to stay away from other people. But a random encounter with a couple on the street leaves her believing that she may have done something horrible, something unforgivable. Killer for hire, Daxton and his girlfriend Maggie know the truth. Instead of easing, easing Allison's anguish, they come up with a cruel plan to take advantage of it. But with Allison's abilities exposed, there may be a grisly body count very soon. From its shocking opening to its sinister conclusion, Allison is Jeff Strand at his over-the-top best. And that's Allison, Jeff Strand. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's some... I don't know what you want to call him, with a very loud car way off in the background, but you can still hear this guy. I can hear him. And he's just been doing this for the past, I don't know how long. I'm saying, thinking 30 minutes. You know, it's just really annoying. But if I close the window, it gets hot in here, even with a fan on. So I'm hoping he's not too... He doesn't interfere too badly with this video. I don't think he will. All right. All right, next up. We've got White Pines by Gemma Amor. Very short synopsis. All right, blink and you'll miss it. A woman returning to her roots, a town built on sacred land, a secret cloaked in tradition and lore. Welcome to White Pines. Don't get too comfortable. And that's White Pines, Gemma Amor. There you go. Okay. Next up, we've got The Beast of Bradley Downs, and this is by Stephanie Douglas. Can beauty outrun the beast? Carolyn Hale is on the run. After witnessing her boyfriend get killed, she abandons everything she once knew for a new life consisting of bus tickets and hotel rooms, a duffel bag full of old clothes, and a shotgun. She isn't running from any ordinary killer. She is running from the beast of Bradley Downs, a creature that kills without judgment and is hunting Caroline. She can only run for so long before she needs to gather her strength and face the beast that howls through under the wind, prowls the night, and cannot be killed by modern means. That is the beast of Bradley Downs. Stephanie Douglas. Right. Okay, next up we've got The Demonic. This is by Lee Mountford, and this is the first book in a trilogy. Uh, I believe the second one is called The Marked or The Marked One, and I don't remember what the third one is called. 
But anyway, it is part of a trilogy, and I actually made the mistake of reading the first or the second book first, but it's been a few years. I don't really remember it, so it won't be too bad to go back and read it again after I read the first book. Anyway, this is The Demonic. Danny thought she knew fear, but this house will show her what it is to be truly afraid. Call back to a childhood home. She must lay to rest a father that made her life hell. But something else waits for her in that house. Something far beyond what she could possibly imagine. Restless spirits and an insidious demon ensure this homecoming is one of nightmares. Can Danny save her family and her very soul? To do so, she must face the ghost of her past as well as an ancient and malevolent evil. You will love this Haunted House novel, because who really needs to sleep at night? And that's the demonic Lee Mountford. Okay. And finally, last but not least, we've got Where the Devil Waits. And this is by Wesley Southard and Mark Steensland. All Frank wanted from his Friday night was to drink beer and bullshit with his friends, Chris, Doug, and Stan. But when Stan challenges them to test a local urban legend about a church where you can race the devil, things get hot fast. Old conflicts soon surface and Frank finds himself going along for the ride just to keep the peace. At the church, Stan shows them how it's done, running the race and claiming he won, which means the devil is now his personal genie. After Frank runs the race and loses, he quickly dismisses his supposed fate that he'll die before sunrise as just another attempt by Stan to get back at him for stealing his girlfriend. But before the night is over, all four find themselves in a new reality, where the supernatural has suddenly become normal, and Stan's power grows to terrifying heights. Will these friends find a way to defeat someone in league with the devil, or will they succumb to the awful fate he has planned for each of them? That is Where the Devil Waits, by Wesley Southard and Mark Steensland. And that is going to do it for the all Kindle edition of my June 22 TBR. Until next time, take care and stay scared. Bye-bye.